we found a way. You said we need to find a way regardless. Two sacks, five quarterback hits. Um, do you feel like you accomplished what you were trying to do this year? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we definitely left some plays out there on some, you know, I think first, second down. We just got to convert a little faster. But for the most part, I thought um, <clears throat> we were doing a pretty good job. You take away Williams, what he, you know, he's such a big part of what they do. So, you know, we little Warriors carry, but to, to take them out of that rhythm, how important was that to the game plan today? It was huge. It was huge. You know, I, I don't. I don't know why they left the run a little bit. I mean, um, felt like they left the run a little bit in the second half. Um, I mean, they uh, they got some some big explosives in the first half, so maybe that's why. But I'm not really sure. How are you guys, how are you guys so good at in the red zone today? Over three, uh, they were um, in a one point game. That's essentially you know, the difference. Just what was it about inside the twenty? What were you guys doing down there on the ten that were you able to just get get you off the field and, and save you four points? Um. We put an emphasis on, on our red zone and kind of in the middle of the season when, we, you know, we kind of real, I mean, maybe a little later in the season when we realized it wasn't really up to par. And, um, I, I, you know, it's kind of hard to, to describe how you change a red zone defense, but I think it was more of a mentality shift. And uh, <coughs> now we just got to stop the, uh, just stop the self-inflicted wounds. Um, you know, those big explosives, they just, they kill you in these big games. Yeah, you know, we knew Jared had a lot on his plate this week, just with all the media and all the hype and all the this and the that. And um, I thought he handled it with with a lot of grace, and he was he handled it um, like a, just a true true professional, and um, it shows the kind of guy he is. And um, you know. He's, uh, he, he played his ass off today, and um, I think he, he showed Detroit, you know, um, he showed Detroit what he's made of. What do you take from an experience like this, though? I mean, first playoff game, you're going against you, one of the franchise greats, Matthew Stafford, you go watch it, man. Just what do you take from this person in your career, this experience, and getting this, this playoff victory today? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird, you know. A lot, a lot of these big moments come, and, um, you know, you, you just you, you kind of go through them, and, and, uh, uh, you know, you don't really look back right now, but you know, there's one of these moments that I'll look back after the season. You kind of just, you know, you let it, you let it simmer, and you let it just, uh, you you really get that true, true emotion. I feel like after the fact, when you look back at things. You had five, five quarterback hits, I think, a couple sacks. The penalty that you drew at the end, I think, that was you on the holding call. Can you just describe that pass rush and how important that play was, set them back. Uh, yeah, I was I was going for the strip sack, but I just missed it. Um, I think I could have gotten it though, but um, that that would have probably closed the game out. So I think next time I just gotta I gotta get that ball out. Still get the penalty, yeah. To get the penalty back down. Yeah, that that was that was big. It's big, and I'm I'm happy I I got a holding felt call. Now seven, now seven sacks. I think the last three games for you just you're on point the ball. What is it there? Just feeling it? And just can you describe it? I don't know. I feel like like I told you guys, I I heat up. <laughs> late in the season and um, um, it's playoff time and, and uh, you know I, I've been waiting for my opportunity in the playoffs and um, just want to make the most of it every out I get. The, uh, the crowd just the word about how electric that atmosphere was out there I mean I think our ears are still ringing a little bit what was it like playing from that? It was, yeah it was wild it was wild the, the camp the fans came out it's probably maybe one of the loudest stadiums I've been in you know and um, I mean that first half and the end of the game it was uh it was crazy man Detroit that they, they they ate all this up. Are you the last guy in the defensive room to catch the cold. Say it again. Are you the last guy in the defensive line room to catch the cold. Yeah, I, I woke up yesterday with a little something and uh endurance was cut a little bit today, but uh yeah, we're, we'll, we'll be good in a couple of days. What do you think push for something like that? I mean, what, was there any um I, I just told uh, Romeo be ready, you know. Every th three or four plays, I might need a sub. But um, no, this this moment is way bigger than, than anything, you know. I see the message on the um, last one, Eric. I see the message on the water bottle, man. What's that about? Anybody from Wilmington? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is my boy Connor. Um, he's got uh, cerebral palsy, and he's always sending me videos. Um, I feel like he he sends these videos claiming that I, you know, Aiden, you're gonna get three sacks today, and 
you know, I, I've always been getting them recently, so I feel like he's my good luck charm. And um, yeah, he's, uh, he's great.